Hi, welcome to Synchro Lights videos. In these videos we will teach you how to set up and run your products. Here we have our 24 channel DC controller. I'll just run through a few points with you first of all. We have two power supplies. Both can be different voltage. So this power supply controls this half of the board and this power supply controls this half of the board. They can be up to 5 12 or 24 volt so you have a 5 volt power on there controlling and also a 24 volt controlling on there it also has a harness or a wiring for a fan each 4 way block controls 2 channels you've got channels 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and so on each pair of channels isolated by a, a fuse so if you have a problem or a short or anything it will short the fuse on board it has a built-in sequence so you can be done as standalone or you can control it by the 485 the USB 485 which I'll show you later key features are 24 channels 12 fuses Heat sink, a fan which controls the fan, 485, two different powers, and we have a sequence selector button here, which also can be used for DMX. It can be DMX controlled or 485 controlled, that we'll get onto later. Here we have a quick demonstration on the fan. On board, the fan, on board the card there is two pins which say the fan and it's connecting a fan to. The number one power controls all of these and also anything on board. So make sure that whatever voltage fan that you've got, if you've got a 12 volt fan then power number one has to be 12 volt. So what we do, just as a demonstration, fan goes onto the two pins on the software you have fan on temperature and shut down temperature. Shut down temperature will shut the whole card down so till it cools down. Fan on temperature will be just in case if you've got the card in a cabinet and you the fan on the side of the cabinet so just to keep the card cool you put the on the software take this temperature down to 20 degrees, as you take it down to 20 degrees and press save, fan starts you take the software back up to 30 press save, fan stops a quick explanation of what I've done is Chosen the power supply, which is a AC controller with a DC converter on board. I've daisy chained it across to this side because I need to control both sides, and they're both the same power. If you wanted 5 volt on that side and 24 volt on that side, you can do. Um, plug it in. As you plug it in, the first thing you notice is the red LED flashes. That's to tell you that it's in a standalone state. And on the selector switch, if you press the selector switch, that turns all the channels on. There's an LED to let you know that the channel is on and what is in the standalone. And then you press the LED again. There's a small sequence which runs through, turns everyone on. Run through it twice, I think. Press it again. It alternates the. I'll show you this later on with lights on. Uh, it alternates the channels. Press it again. It does from side to side. Press it again. And it turns them all off.
what we can do, just for demonstration purposes, is add one set of lights this side, just to show you there. Another set of lights this side, so that's on. If I put in a there, when you press the switch, it then illuminates the lights. So that's this alternate set, and then left and right, left and right. And off. Here I've wired up a very small set of lights, I think it's 10 sets of lights here, just to show you the standard low sequence. So the selector switch is you press it once and they all come on. So that's all 24 channels. Each one of the green LEDs on here corresponds to the channel. You'll see that in a minute in there. So turn it on. The green, the green LED corresponds to the channel that comes on. I've not connected every single channel because I've only got 10 sets of lights. It's just giving you, a, as that comes on, so that light comes on, then that one comes on, that set of light comes on. Obviously the missing. So. The last one, it just runs through. Press the selector switch again. And it then alternates, as you can see. If you press the selector switch again, it then does left to right. The standalone sequence on board is just something that we've written, just to make just for demonstration purposes. It can be tailored to your own sequence. You can do that in the software. You can, once the US8485 is connected, you can tailor the standalone sequence to what you want and then take it out and put it, the card wherever you wish. And all off. LED light flashes to say that it's in standalone. Here I've written a small program with a computer control in it. The LED light is solid to say that it's now receiving signals from the computer. If in your show you do a lot of fading and you're finding that your fading is out of sequence, this part of the software is you can alter the curves of the on and off or fade up and fade down. This concludes our video. Thank you very much for watching. If you need any more help, please do not hesitate to contact one of our team.